Nice. Very soviet -y buildings. Now, by the title of the video, you're gonna think, Ivan, are you absolutely out of your mind? Let's find out, but first, I have breakfast that apparently I paid for, so let's check it out. That is more important than anything else, so let's go get some breakfast. That's what we need to get. What are the chances that the breakfast is gonna be good? I don't know. If it's gonna be good, I'm gonna be happily surprised. Let's get some food into us. What do we got here? This is not bad. Oh yes, I'm gonna get some food, definitely. Look at all this pork. This is good, perfect. I'm actually surprised. This is way better than any Turkish hotel that you could find randomly. Well, it seems like I can't even stir a coffee without spilling it all over the place. Well, that was actually quite some good breakfast. Flip the neck. Anyways, let's go get ready for the trip. I have no idea why I brought shorts with me. What was I thinking? Oh, holy crap. I forgot my remote. Holy cow. Again. Is it 12.16 or 13.16? Anyways, we're gonna be trying out two floors then, I guess. And about the trip, I'll tell you guys, th this is not clickbait, and um, we'll see how it goes. I literally went down to the reception to ask where I am. I'm on the 16th floor, it's six, room 16.12. Holy cow, 16th floor, you know after Turkey, I'm not used to all those something more than like five or six floors. Heck yeah, this is good. Now I'm wearing slides as well. I look like an absolute knob and this thing freezing in Georgia as well, so I don't know what I was thinking when I was packing my stuff. I was hoping it's gonna be warm for some reason. Well, it's time to get going, so let's go. Well, off we go. To this journey I'll tell you much more a bit later as usual I found a little a little coffee place for myself to get myself a cappuccino oh there it is yeah there we go look at this looking awesome I'm actually like a hundred kilometers away from the border but look how stanced my car looks like because I have so much stuff in the back it's actually like sitting in a like the bottom is lower than the top actually it looks like a flip and I don't know it looks cool I don't know if you could see it on camera maybe I have to like I don't know you, you can kind of get the idea anyways let's get going Guys, never drink cola while on a mountain. It fizzes up so much in your mouth, it's impossible. Flipping impossible, mate. Oh my God, the amount of snow here. It's absolutely wild, look at this. Look at this layer of snow right here. This is like larger than that Mercedes right there. Look at that. Imagine that falling down. Well, I'm back in Russia. I just passed the passport control and everything and now I have a 20 hour drive to the house, but I'm hungry because I missed the Hinkali place by accident. So let's get going. Let's get flipping going. Don't get mad at me, guys. You're gonna see some awesome content. And also, I'll tell you the reasoning as well of me coming. 
which is really really important so guys ride on with me love every single one of you let's go one liter of fuel regular 4790 rubles translation is going to be here so it's a first fuel up I actually lost one of my cards so I gotta block them thank god I noticed it now anyways we need to find somewhere to eat and probably somewhere to stay soon because there is no way I'm gonna be driving for another 24 hours once again that would absolutely suck so let's um, let's do that 73 liters for 3,500 rubles price is gonna be somewhere here in dollars heck yeah heck yeah this is some good stuff fill up yourself as well yes very very good anyways it seems like we'll only make it to Evelina and the cats because they're already waiting for me by tomorrow Guys, did you really not think that the first place I'm gonna go to is Fkusne Tochka, which is tasty and that's it. I'm gonna try out the Big Mac that they made. It's called the Big Hit. And I got a bunch of food, I'm just starving. Oh my God, I'm starving, boy. Okay guys, the lighting is not the best, but I got myself some Dobre Cola, as they call it. So let's try it out after drinking the real Coke for a long time. This is more sugary. Maybe it's because of this place. Anyways, I'll show you what I got for $7 and show, tell me what you could get in McDonald's for $7 in your country. So, for $7, medium Coke, large Americano, six chicken nuggets. Look at that. Ooh, chicken nuggets. Mmm, those are good. Now, guys, the most important. Remember the sauce packages, right? When I left, had the McDonald's scribbled out? Well, there is no McDonald's on this package. I don't know if you could see. Hold on a minute. Look at the package. Is it gonna... There is no McDonald's symbol. Nothing is scribbled out. And guess who made it? Heinz. Let's try it out. This is my favorite sauce ever. Sweet chili in McDonald's. It smells the same because it's Heinz. And Heinz did produce it for the other McDonald's. So it produced it for this one. Mm. Now, check this out, guys. Those are the new fries. They're way larger than McDonald's fries. Let's try it out with a bit of sauce. Mm. This is way better. After having Turkish McDonald's, this is really good. I also got myself one cheeseburger. And let's try out, let's try the cheeseburger. Let's see. Let's see how it is. Mm, perfection now the most important thing is this this is the Russian Big Mac which is called the big hit let's open it up oh wow look at this different sorts of seeds here this looks really good let's try it out oh my god lettuce going everywhere cheers guys it's a good burger but as a Big Mac expert, I'll tell you one thing. The sauce is different. It's way different. It has a more uh, mustardy taste to it. Yeah, this doesn't actually taste like a Big Mac. I'll be honest with you. Maybe it's because I, I have to test this out in multiple stores. But as of now, it, it has some similarities, but it's not the Big Mac. The sauce is completely different. But it's a good burger. It's definitely a good burger. It just is not, it, it's, it doesn't have that Big Mac secret sauce, which I'm surprised. Wouldn't they just like take that sauce into a laboratory and make a copy or something? I mean, might as well if you did all of this. So guys, I'm 1,000 kilometers away from Moscow. 
and 200 kilometers away. I did not record it because I thought that would probably be a bad idea, but I have a photo right here. This is my car without license plates because apparently my registration expired like my own registration and I registered my car so it expired and now look no plates at all you know what that means in Russia that means and they told me I could drive for like one or two days without any plates like no plates at all not in the front and not in the back either check this out this is like the action you get like look we're already getting some random action going on right here which only means that I can flip in do stuff like this God, I'm running out of fuel and the gas station is so far away. I could feel the engine literally like you know when there's no fuel. I can't believe I missed that gas station that I was supposed to go into. That sucks. Breaks all the plans. Hopefully I'll make it to the gas station. Well I just ran out of fuel. Oh my god. Now I have to hitchhike somebody to give me a bit of fuel or something. So now I'm stranded on a road and there is a service in Russia on highways that you could call those special people and they will bring you fuel and uh, actually for a good price surprisingly I thought it was gonna be a ripoff but it's actually good that's really good they said they're gonna be here in 10-15 minutes so I'm gonna be waiting for them I cannot believe I messed this up this sucks anyways let's wait for the guys well I got fueled up now I'm just pumping the fuel through Oh, I love Russian gas stations because I got hungry. It's currently 10 39 a.m. 24 hours of no sleeping again. Having a hot dog because they sell them. Very good in gas stations, they're really tasty. Well, I made it without license plates and the cool part is I haven't been stopped once throughout I'll tell you how much any how many kilometers 1130 kilometers without being stopped flipping stealth mode so guys you know what I'm already in the house tomorrow we're gonna unpack everything everything from the car and the thing is apparently what I did was absolutely illegal and what the cops told me I was that they said you know I could drive without plates no you cannot so I was absolutely lucky that no policeman stopped me for 1100 kilometers and the fun fact is there was a policeman that literally straight looked at me and he probably thought I was some mob boss or something like that so he just let me go through you know so anyways guys if you enjoyed today's vlog you might as well press the like button subscribe and comment in the comment section below because there's loads and loads of content to come out soon. Hopefully guys, and I did say that I'm gonna explain why we're here. I'm gonna explain that to you in the next vlog because that'll make a bit more sense.